What would be your list of places you've not ever ridden before, but you want to go? Um, southern Chile, Patagonia area. Everyone here says it's better than here, and here is really good. So, yeah, sweet. Yeah, maybe like Himalayas or something. Do some scree slope riding. Not been to like Bali. Somewhere that always looks good there. Probably more South America. Maybe Ecuador, Bolivia, a few of those places. I reckon there's some pretty good mountains there, so um, yeah. There and Nepal. Uh, ever snapped a frame? Yes. Well, yeah, a few. Uh, it's not for rear ends, never, never like, never. just like from hitting rock. Not like completely snapped, but broken, especially when I was younger, I had some sketchy bikes, yeah. No arrests. No. no. Quick on my feet. No. Not being arrested. No, not being arrested. Cool. Touch wood. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> Got arrested at my uh, second World Cup in Andorra. Yeah, got out of that one somehow. Nice. Well, today was pretty good. Yesterday, the day before, any day on a bike's a good day, isn't it? Good yeah. Every single one, isn't it? It always is. That was the best day ever. No, I don't know. Best day ever on a bike. That's a hard one, that. That is hard. Every day's good. Yeah. Yeah. Best day I've ever had. Probably for me. My best result was in Rotorua at the EWS, so I'd have to say it was a pretty good day. I didn't feel that good on the bike though. But it, uh, and is that the best day like ever from riding, racing, whatever? Oh, my career racing, yeah. W winning that was like, you know, winning at home, it's pretty cool, yeah. Most embarrassing crash? Oh, I had one at a downhill race in France. I think I was on a good time, last turn, straight over a berm, into a big bush and just pulled myself out of it, covered in prickles and right in front of all the finish area, so that wasn't that good. <laughs> had a couple today. <laughs> well, well, most embarrassing crash. Most embarrassing, I did my ACL not even crashing, that was shite. That's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. I, was, I slipped off a ledge and I was pulling myself back up like that, and it yeah. just went wah, 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 Yeah. Oh, once at Monsonine when I just smoked my balls eh, and took all the skin off them. I was, yeah, I was in a lot of pain. I had to get someone else to check them out. Was that on live TV? Not on live TV, but in the practice, and then the marshal had to have a look to make sure they were right. <laughs> uh, why do you like mountain biking? Uh, I find it like a form of meditation. Doesn't matter what's going on anywhere ever. If I get on my bike, I'm just focused, riding, and nothing bothers me. So sweet. Just free, isn't it? I don't know. This, just cruising down hills and chatting with people and just meeting. Yes, yeah, the best. Everyone should ride a bike. Ah, uh, probably just the freedom, getting out there in the woods and uh, riding your bike. It's, it's got to be good for you, I guess. And um, put you in a good mental space yeah so everything could be bad and then it all comes good when you're out on your bike 29 or 27.5 both this is 27 another bike's 29 horses for courses all that 29 or 27.5 27.5 i do it both i swing both ways yeah yeah <laughs> superstition very i'm into it i like it what have you got well, all of it. I, I believe in so much stuff, mate. <laughs> just karma. Get, you get what you, well, you give out. Everything's a balance, so if you're an abs one day, it's gonna catch up with you. So, I am superstitious. I, I'm quite superstitious, yeah. If I have like a good day in some gloves, I've not changed my gloves this thing, so it's like, all sorts of weird stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah. Favourite socks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, just. If I've enjoyed doing something in something, then I'm like, that's it's been good to me. I'll put that back on. Nice, yeah. Do you uh, wash it in between? Depends how good it is. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> if it's real good, you don't we'll, wash it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> is it precious or is it a tool? It's a very precious tool. It's like a joiner's fine chisel. You know, a real like good chisel. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> precious, precious for sure. Sometimes you do end up like just picking it up, but yeah, yeah. life without a bike. Yeah. 
It's not a hammer then. No. no. Well, you'd take care of it, but it's it's a tool at the end of the day to race down the hill on, but um, definitely like a good bike, yeah. Got a few hung up on the wall, so when I'm an old boy, I can be like, yeah, I used to ride that, yeah. Post-ride drink. I have to be a water out here just because it's so dry, but there's a free bar at the campsite, so I'll have one of them pills with you. <laughs> Unless you're into the golden ale. Both. You're both, right, one of each. <laughs> <laughs> Always like to just down a water and then get that away. And then whatever's available, beer. Yeah. don't really do many post-ride drinks. I drink a lot of water. Um, don't have too many beers, really. Had a beer today, but yeah, not not quite a post-ride drink guy. Maybe a smoothie. If, if it's a hard training ride, then a smoothie is like the hard training session, that's what I look forward to. That's the only good thing about it, the smoothie at the end. Uh, best riding advice? Look up, look forwards and yeah, keep your eyes up. Have fun, it's such an easy one, isn't it? But don't take it too serious. Just ride as much as possible, especially for the young fellas. They're always asking like how to get sponsored or how to do this. Go riding, enjoy it, and then see what happens. If, if you get good, you get good, but if you're having fun, that's all that matters. So yeah, go out there and have fun. The best bike rider, Danny McCaskill. He's pretty up there, isn't he? He can do a lot on a bike that not many other people can, so we'll go with him. I don't know. Josh Bryson probably. He's, Who's he's a wizard, one? isn't he? Yeah. Best bike rider I know, probably Sam Hill. He just does it, does things pretty easily, and uh, other people struggle. Underrated. I don't underrate anyone. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they're all good. All Overrated. Good. There's a lot of them. <laughs> just go on one of the online things, and you'll soon find them. <laughs> Conor McFarlane is amazing. Uh, well, you just look how technically insane he is. Like all the big flat spins, big whips, just his, yeah. yeah. I don't know, it's, oh man. I'd love to be able to make my brain work. He's not underrated anymore, Martin. Yeah, right. He was underrated. Now uh, everyone knows what he can do. But it, last year he was underrated. And now everyone knows it. And, even after Labresse, people still second guessed him, but um, he came out swinging at World Champs and he was pretty sick that day too, so um, it could have gone even better, I reckon.